Facebook is the most popular social media application today, and it's being updated regularly to make sure it works properly on all platforms. However, it seems like some iPhone users have encountered issues shortly after an update. You have to do a few troubleshooting procedures to fix this problem. So in this video, we will show you what to do if Facebook keeps crashing on your iPhone 12. First solution, close Facebook and force restart your iPhone. If the problem started without apparent reason, then perhaps it's just a minor problem with the app. The first thing you have to do is the forced restart to refresh the memory and reload all apps and services. Here's how you do that. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop at the middle. This will show you the app previews. Swipe up on each preview to close them. After that, quickly press and release the volume up button and then volume down. Immediately after that, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. This will trigger the iPhone to turn off and power back up. When the Apple logo shows, release the power key and wait until the device has finished rebooting. After the reboot, open Facebook and see if it still crashes. Second solution, uninstall Facebook and reinstall it. Another effective solution to this problem is uninstalling the app in question. Doing so will remove all its associations with the firmware and other apps. After that, reinstall the app to make sure you have the latest version. Here's how you do those things. Go to the screen where the Facebook icon is located. Tap and hold on its icon until options show. Tap delete app. Tap delete to confirm the deletion of the app. Once the app is successfully uninstalled, launch the app store. Search for Facebook, and then tap the install icon. Wait for the app to be successfully installed on your iPhone. When the installation is finished, tap open to launch it. Most of the time, these are the only things you need to do to fix an app that keeps on crashing. However, if for some reason the problem continues, then you have to do the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix this problem but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap erase all contents and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.